Hi, so I've got here a uh, Tektronix uh, 4404 um, uh, up and running and uh, I have to have the date uh, pre-millennium so it's set to 1995 uh, to avoid the wraparound. Um, I've written a DHCP client, um, unfortunately I can't uh, reverse engineer how to do broadcast packets so I have to give the router uh, but you can see it's assigned 192.168.161 to me. Uh, so we're in the real world. Um, these are a few tests I did of um, uh, being able to dig out uh, the MAC address from the uh, um, interface adapter. There is no uh, API for this, so you have to dig around uh, in um, DevMem. Um, so this next thing is a little window system I wrote. Um, so it uh, starts up, it just allows you to have multiple windows using pseudo shells, uh, pseudo terminals. Um, so because there's so little memory, you can't uh, obviously buffer any of the pixels. You have to do everything by re recreating and redrawing everything each time. Um, but you can see that TTY shows it to be uh, dev PTY00, um, but it's running a shell. Um, on the end of that uh, pseudo terminal so I, you can create multiple windows um, and also because it's hardware scrolling on the Tektronix it means that uh, you can scroll the desktop around uh, sort of for free it, it's uh, just a piece of hardware that's that's panning the um, video RAM um, and that's pretty much where I've got to I can you know uh, collapse and uh, uh, expand windows um, the redraw is obviously incredibly inefficient at the moment, um, so I need to make it so it blitz uh, lines rather than regenerates them each time. Um, and you can see PS is showing there's just a bunch of processes there um, running. And um, But thus far I'm pretty pleased with the little window system. Uh, it's a sort of new piece of software for the Tektronix for the first time in 40 years. Um, and there's been an awful lot of reverse engineering to get to this point. Um, and the next um, thing I want to try and tackle is uh, sort of understanding more about the uh, socket layer because, say, there is zero documentation of this, and it's basically Gidra and a assembler and disassembling uh, um, the function calls to try and figure out what's uh, what's going on. And that's it.